So for today, we're going to be looking at 801 and Eververse in that order because it is week 10 already. And if you guys don't know, week 10 is usually the week that we stop getting uh, challenges, which is very unfortunate considering we have still like a bunch of weeks. We have, let's see, actually, I want to know because it has been a while. We still have eight, 118 days until the next season. So it would have been cool if they have given if they had given us more challenges, just because a more bright bright this would have been very appreciated. But we could also have more wiggle room to do the challenges for this as well. But whatever, what are you gonna do? So we're gonna be looking at 801 first for the shaderies. House of Mirren is gonna be up first. I <clears throat> so I don't hate House of Mirren. I definitely like it. But I will say, if you want to get the most out of House of Mirren, you're definitely gonna to want to combine it with plate armor, just because. The yellow, honestly. The yellow, I'm not the biggest fan. I've never been the biggest fan of the yellow. So for me, um, I definitely would recommend it if you have plate armor. Uh, flowers flowers of Io Worn. <clears throat> so I actually like this shader. I used it in one of my more previous sets. And I I like it. Um, I definitely would recommend it. I, would, I will always almost recommend any other shader just because you might never know when one piece looks really cool with that set. So... That's why I always would recommend shaders. And then New Monarchy Regalia, which this one is super dope. It doesn't look good with this because obviously I'm using purely cloth. Well, mostly cloth, I should say. But it is a really good red and gold, so I definitely would recommend this one. As for the armor set, it's going to be the Fallen themed stuff. So I think the, the Hunters, I think the helmet's really cool. I think the boots are pretty interesting. I think the arms are interesting. I think the chest piece and the cloak, unfortunately, are the worst ones. That being said... The cloak is really terrible when it comes to shadering. Other than that, I think it's amazing looking. So if you find a shader that goes really well with this, then it's a no brainer. And if you take the hood off, then it becomes the hood that you used to get back in D1 where it was uh, <clears throat> the um, oh, oh, the dude from, from Deep Stone Crypt. I forget his name, but um, the, the last boss from him uh, used to get a cloak back in D1. And if you take the hood off of this cloak, it looks almost a one to one, which is really cool. Uh, the chest piece is pretty terrible all around. I'm not the biggest fan of the plate. I think it could have used a little bit more flair. And the stomach actually takes shaders really terribly. So, Titans, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think the helmet and the boots are probably the only cool pieces. Like, that being said, I think the helmet is, like, legitimately, like, the only piece I will use. I'm not saying the boots are terrible, but you got to really find the set piece or the pieces that go well with it. Um, the, chest piece, the chest piece as well, I actually do like as well. Uh, the arms and the mark are the only pieces that I'm not the biggest fan of. For the Warlocks, uh, I think the helmet's pretty cool, very unique. The chest piece is definitely worth getting. The boots and arms, while boring, I still would recommend. And I think the bond is the best piece. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I definitely would recommend that some of the pieces that I recommend. But I would definitely just tell you, get the shaders at least because you... You will not you'll never regret buying a shader that being said remember we're losing legendary shards i think next next uh expansion i think they're just gonna take them all away which i have still have, i still have a lot to go through so you might as well just buy oh wait these are bright or glimmer even better uh, if you have legendary shards just buy glimmer if you don't then you can also just end up using <clears throat> this right here rainmaker because you'll just get a random amount and i had i had a way more than this i had so much so yeah i definitely would recommend just using these just because a it'll clean up your storage and oh man honestly i really just i wish we had more than 50 because especially for christmas it like fills up a lot so that's pretty much it i am gonna go to eververse now because it's actually kind of popping off so we're gonna be looking at hazard pay <clears throat> i don't think this is terrible looking i j i legitimately think it's a cool color combination especially with the sniper it looks really cool um i also like that red um it's not like a like blood red more of a like really dark almost desaturated red because it reminds me of like how mayans used to use red um we have circadian chill I, i'm not the biggest fan of it i think on weapons it looks pretty cool especially on the sniper but um on armor i'm just kind of like whatever so it's just white blue and maybe silver but Again, I maybe black, but well, that's probably an off color. Uh, again, I will always just tell you just pick up all the shaders. Um, in fluorescence, 
feel like I've seen like five of these that have just like leaves, but just different colors. We have Pale Rider. I, yeah, nah. it's not terrible. I definitely think it's pretty cool. I wouldn't buy it though. I didn't buy it. I got it for uh, for my, for my Ingram, but yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Festival Sparks. I didn't even know I had this. Oh, it's from Season of the Chosen. Definitely have gotten it from just random Ingrams, probably, because I definitely didn't buy this. Then we have... So, we have the digital variants for the Hunters. Let me go to collections real quick so I can just show you which ones got uh, released for the other classes. So, Titans, you guys ended up getting the hollow fire heart ornament which looks amazing definitely check it out speaking of which this video should already be up uh the titan ornaments definitely check it out because i think some of the sets that i made in are super cool i've also made the hunter one as well hopefully i'll have the both videos up right now so you guys can check them out just because again i really do recommend those warlocks i think yours is going to be coming out tomorrow speaking of warlocks you guys ended up getting the osmiomancy gloves today which is very unfortunate i would have much preferred the other ones um i can't look at them because obviously <clears throat> i don't have it unlocked yet because quite frankly i don't know if i if i even want to get it i don't know if i want to spend my bright dust on it considering um i'm pretty low on bright dust right now <laughs> 1100 and as you guys can see i have quests because i'm gonna start doing these again but yeah, that's just to quickly showcase, showcase which ones are available. But Digital Variants, definitely pick it up. The Star Eater Scale one, it's so cool. Um, I, this is like one of my favorite ornaments. It's funny too, because now that I have this ornament, I don't have the actual set like showcased, which is funny. But I'll, I'll showcase it at the end, or I can just do it right now, actually. This one right here. This is the set that I made with it. Very much happy with this set. The Titan one as well, I'm very much happy with that set as well. But let me go back to Everest because there's some still some cool things being sold out of Dodge, <clears throat> which looks cool. Definitely does look cool. I guess I just wish and I want to talk about this in a video, but I just wish that sparrows had the same importance and value as mounts from like World of Warcraft and uh, Final Fantasy 14. But because I think I think because they sell so many in the Eververse, it kind of just diluted what Sparrows could have been. Uh, we have Cosmos Lightbeam. <clears throat> they were selling the uh, Sparrow of this one last uh, last week. Arcade Shell. Oh, I hate that I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. I don't think the, the ones on the sides should have been there, but the one in the front is pretty cool. Jubilant Decree. We have uh, Origami Crane. I don't even remember picking this up, like ever. This might have been a, a which am I called? Um, one that I picked up from an Ingram. <clears throat> Stasis Entrance. We have Cabal Shieldbreaker. Taken Arrival. Oof, this is a good one. I would recommend this one. And then for the Shaders Gamekeeper. Funnily enough, I actually use Gamekeeper. Fuck, it looks so cool with this set. Um, which is funny because like I hate this shader, but not for the reasons you think. I hate it because it doesn't represent what colors are actually in the shader. It just so shows different silvers. And I'm just like, bro, there's, there's no silver in this even. Like That's what pisses me off the most. But it's such a cool shader. It's a, you know, no, no, actually, this might be the Metal Gear shader that I'm looking for. The only thing that sucks is the glow's not at all what I wanted, but very close. Um, Empirical Imperative, this one is in the, uh, in the Titan video. It's one of, it's the last set. It's specifically the ornament that I showcased. I made a set with the shader. It looks so cool. It's like one of the coolest like Rasputin theme, not Rasputin, but like more um, Seraph themed, I guess you would say. It's such a, no, cause it doesn't matter. It's in that area of like Rasputin slash Seraph themed and it looks so cool. Again, check out that video because it's definitely really cool. Uh, Grayscale Undergrowth. The more I look at this shader, the more I appreciate it. That being said, I will understand if people are like, oh, it's boring because it is boring. It's just gray and some white in there. 
And then Calco's Finery or Chalcho, Chalco's? It's Calco, probably. I don't hate this shader, like surprisingly, considering I'm not the fan, biggest fan of green, or I'm not the biggest fan of orange, but I do like it when it's darkened because bright orange just feels tacky to me. So this is actually pretty cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I definitely would recommend the ornaments. I'm probably gonna pick up the Warlock one, even though my soul's telling me not to because it looks basic as fuck. I'm probably still gonna pick it up, but so this week i usually like to do this after the video is done so if you guys don't want to hear me spiel about what we're going to be doing in the, in the future definitely leave i appreciate it remember hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because i do think my content is worth it and subscribe all of that it's free and if you guys don't like my content in the future you can always unsubscribe and tell me what i did wrong so thank you other than that so i want to talk about <clears throat> some things that i'm actually gonna start doing because you guys might have already started noticing that i've started doing a little bit more than just armor theme stuff i'm currently working on the exotic videos i already have them done i just need to do the, sh the voiceover for those <clears throat> and i have the six coyote orpheus rig winter's guile severance enclosure paragon greaves and caliban's hand so if you guys are interested to see an exotic that i have not done before just that that is the thing that you need to make sure is that i haven't done the exotic first and i do have exotic or i think i have an exotic exotic playlist maybe if i don't i probably will start doing it but just type in exotic and my my fi fixed tony i think you should see all of them come up but i'm pretty sure i post them under the actual like classes so i have hunter titan and warlock playlists of just all of the stuff that i've done for them um but you also can just send me the message and then i'll probably tell you like oh i've already done it and i'll give you the link but again if you want to do that let me know in the comments below i'm also going to be doing some other things like, like really random stuff like for example i'm going to shoot, shoot shoot some of you right now shoot at, i'm going to shoot some at you right now hard mode needs to come back that's going to be the title of it and that's pretty self-explanatory i'm going to talk about what i think about hard mode in this iteration of destiny 2 and what i think they need to improve on uh srl could be a permanent mode that's going to be crazy to talk about because i know that people have really strong opinions about that uh what to do when d2 stale which is what i've been doing all season so that's going to be a really cool video because some people really need to be told you don't have to play destiny 2 all the time or every day i mean i only log in to do the videos and then i'm back out and then i go back into get like footage for like for example like the armor rotations and stuff like i strictly log in just for business and that's it uh the solo flawless needs better rewards which is something i really wanted to talk about which is shaders mementos weapon rolls and like maybe some accessories that's another thing that i've actually spoken about in this channel i would love accessories to be a thing in this game so i have a lot more than that not only that i have the th the, the themed videos so for example i have tactical sets night set hive cabal take in fallen sets awoken sets egyptian sets military sets bug sets uh d1 inspired sets and then scorn sets so like i'm really trying to expand on like fashion because i don't want to just be known for exotics and he does like reviews of armors and then does like individual sets with those i want to do more than just that and for hopefully in the future i will start expanding to not only my content but all the other people's as well so if you're interested to see like your own set in a video once i actually make my discord up that's when i'm gonna post that so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later